Hello everyone. So now I'm going to show you how to do a multi-temporal classification, you know, uh, multi-temporal and cover classification on which we'll try to classify an image from 2019 to 2022 uh, of this area, Palembang area, you know, uh, city of Palembang in Sumatra. And what we we'll try to do is that you we are only using one image, right? One image where uh, it only sampled from uh, year 2022. 2022. So we only only uh, use the 22 as the as the input for the model. But then the result, uh, the model will be applied to all of the year you know, for 2019, 2020, then 2021. So we can apply this 2022 model to 2021, 2020, and 2019. Uh, the script basically is, you know, uh, like for loop, you know, basically, but using map from, from this year, we create the start and date for our image, you know, I'm using a uh, signal to image right here, uh, 10 meter resolution, and I'm going to filter the area, you know, uh, this Palembang area, the filter this area, then we try to uh, start masking as well, media, we include the image, you can show the image, this is the image for each year, this 21, 21, 22, pretty different. Yeah, but different nonetheless. 2020 and 2019. Yes, the image we use. And then uh, from the for loop, uh, we return the image and the year. You know, so you can we filter later. I'm gonna filter only for the 2022, on which we're gonna classify uh, with the model in 2022. So we, we merge the model, you know, uh, merge the samples. Now for the sample image for palm oil, for build up for wetland for uh, forest for uh, water etc so i build uh, it's quite small the sample so, uh, this can see here for wetland for water i put the sample let's we hide it and then i put the model right and then i split it for train and testing and train is uh 80 percent and test is 80 percent then we extract the value uh for each for train and each for test you know uh, using a sample image so we can train later to see it. then i train the model like visual we will run a forest model 15 uh, 53 uh, you train sample the extracted value then use all the band names i only, only use a few bands here uh, only blue green uh, blue green red near and so on correct this is more important then we create accuracy test using the test sample to see the accuracy this is a result you know for our testing then we set the legend and uh, values and palette to set to the image so we don't have uh, to set uh, visualization make it easier then after that we apply the model which is this model we apply the model to all of the image we apply all of the image here we apply to all image then we switch it to byte to you know when we export it you know take a lot of space you know and so we set the legend, so on visualization is doing automatically. Okay, let's try, let's run. Uh, what do you like? So it's running the image, right? Then we put the classification. This image for 19, 2020, 2021. I should have taken a while. This was 2022, I think. Wait for our result. Before that, uh, I think the result already come out, you know, option matrix. I think our result is 8.85% or 8.85 or 85%, which is quite uh, good actually, quite normal, you know, for uh, length of classification. Ah, this result is for 2019. Image for 2019, I guess. Uh, so urban, this palm oil, uh, and this uh, teal, I think, teal color, bluish, is. Uh, it's a wetland, yellow is cropland. I think we only have a few forestry, you know, very few, because, you know, this is a urban area. So in Palembang, there is not much forestry, only city, palm oil, uh, crops, you know, and big river, you know, Musi River is the big one. So using the same model, we can classify all of the images. You know. Here, this is the, the final one for 2022. Just the results. Anything gonna show you for 2019 too? 
I don't know if the result is good, but I think it's quite good actually, based on my opinion. As it is, it seems that there's not much change. Oh, I think that <laughs> for 2019, they are over classify the urban area. It's normal. I try. Yeah, I think different that 2010 starting to change. Or is 2010, 2021, and this one. Well, the accuracy is well questionable, but let's we now we can classify a lot of imagery, you know, assuming that the sample is correct, you know, and it can be applied to any, any images. I think we can do it, you know. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, for the example of how to classify multi temporal imagery, uh, like offer of uh, temporal imagery. I hope that you can help your research project. Thank you. Goodbye.